Peace and blessings, y'all, in this corner, Box of 24. Good evening, good evening. How's everyone doing this evening? Hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing pretty good on this side, as always. God is great, God is good, and I can't complain. So, wow. Big announcement, man. Big announcement. Tank. Tank Davis, man. Listen, much props to Tank, man. He's taking on a tough, tough, this ain't no tune-up. I, I haven't heard him say it's a tune-up. And I hope people don't take it as a tune-up, because this is definitely not a tune-up. Hector Lewis Garcia, featherweight champ, super featherweight, lightweight, WBA. Listen, this is a tough fight for Tank. And for him to take this fight before... Going into a fight with Ryan Garcia, man, nothing but respect. Nothing but respect. I mean, I got respect for Tank anyway. You know, I got respect for him, man, because of his fight game. He know how to fight. He know how to box. He got power, and he know how to set you up. He set traps for you. He's very smart. Very smart in the ring. But for him to take on this challenge, wow. This is a hell of a challenge, man. So, so those who don't know, Hector Lewis Garcia is 16 and 0 with 10 knockouts. He had a hell of a year this year. In February of this year, he beat Chris Colbert, little B-hop. I mean, dominated him, totally dominated him. Nobody thought that that was gonna happen. Chris Colbert himself, I'm sure. I don't know if he, he you know, he slept on him. He, he took him lightly. I don't know what happened, but he got totally dominated in that fight. And I know he would like to have a rematch, but it didn't happen. Um, and I don't know if it'll happen. Let's see based on what happens with Tank when he fights Tank. But then in August of this year, he goes and he takes the belt from Roger Gutierrez, the WBA champion. Totally dominated him. I mean, this dude can fight, man. He comes to fight. He comes prepared. He comes in shape. He don't talk a lot, but he's very confident, man, in his fight game. He's a good boxer, decent power. Uh, I thought he was going to stop Gutierrez. I even thought he was going to stop Little b man. You know what I mean? But he, but he totally dominated him, man. He totally dominated both of them, okay? And he, those were good fights, good fighters, man. All right, so Tank is taking on a hell of a challenge before looking forward to a fight with Ryan Garcia. Um, you can't act no better than this, man. You know, um, we may not have gotten Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence like we wanted, but man, if Tank fights this dude and then beats him or stops him and then goes in and fights Ryan Garcia, and does the same thing, or even if he just wins, man, listen, don't even question. I mean, again, you can't question his record now, 27 over 25 knockouts. But man, if he totally dominates both of these fighters, man, back to back, boy, I tell you, it's gonna be a problem. Now, like I said, I think he's a 50-50 fight with Devin Haney and a 50-50 fight with Shakur. But, man, the game changer for Tank is that power. And, again, we're not going to act like he can't box. He can box. Okay? He can box. He can move around that ring. He got some defense, too. So, it ain't just no power. That power is just a, you know, a... a sets him apart from the other lightweights, but he can box too, okay? So much love, much respect for Tank, and I'm um, looking forward to it, man. January, he said he was fighting in D.C. in January, and this is the fight, man. And you know what? I think I'm going to try to be there. <laughs> that's going to be a hell of a fight. So, yeah, that's all I really got. Peace and blessings in this corner, Boxing 24. Everybody, please enjoy the rest of your evening. Be safe. And boxing is here, man. Okay?
Look forward to these good fights coming up, man. I think next year is going to be a blockbuster year. We're going to have some good fights. We got, you know, we got a lot that's getting ready to go down, man, in the boxing world. All right? So we might have got disappointed with, 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 with the fight that we wanted to really see, but I think 2023 is going to be a hell of a year in boxing. All right? I look forward to it. Peace and blessings, y'all.